Surfshark updates are back. The Windows app just got a nice big update that helped to improve the app. The Refer a Friend program for Surfshark got a revamp that made it easier for you to earn free Surfshark. This and a ton of other updates coming right up. Let's discuss. By the way, if you're watching this and you don't have Surfshark yet or looking to extend your subscription, then now's the perfect time as you can now use our special code ACADEMY and get three extra months when buying Surfshark. But now let's talk about Surfshark Windows app 5.8.0 update, which did a variety of things. First things first, this update resolved issues regarding the kill switch feature. If you had issues with this feature not working or acting up weird, it should now be resolved. Additionally, the whole installation process for the app has been drastically improved. So the app will now install much better, which will impact if you're installing Surfshark for the first time, but still it's a nice improvement nonetheless. This change also fixed annoying issues with OpenVPN drivers that failed to install for some users. A new feature also comes to the antivirus tab as you can now access other antivirus features while scans are happening in the background. And here's me from the future because there was another big, big addition with this update that I didn't mention earlier. That is that Surfshark is also releasing a brand new Windows app version specifically for ARM-based PCs such as the Surface laptops from Microsoft or Galaxy Books from Samsung, among others. So if you have a computer with an ARM processor or you're running a virtual machine via your Mac, you can now run Surfshark natively on your device. This version of the app is available to download in the same menu in the my.surfshark account page, just like the regular version. And ARM support has been requested by quite a few of you and we're happy to share that it's finally here and you can try it out today. One thing to keep in mind is that not all features are available on this version, but key features like bypasser and auto connect and kill switch are available. But yeah, let us know what you think of this update in the comments below. And back to my past self now. If you're enjoying Surfshark and you have friends or relatives who you think could use it too, then this new Refer a Friend program update is definitely something to keep an eye on. First of all, gone are the various tiers where you had to reach a certain amount of referrals to reach your reward. Instead, now it's much more simplified. And all you have to do is invite your friend to Surfshark and if they stay for longer than 30 days, both you and your friend will be rewarded with either one free month of Surfshark if they got the one month plan or three months if they got the 12 or 24 month plan. You can find your referral link in the app under the refer a friend option and all your friend has to do is use that link, sign up and that's it. As long as they stay for 30 days, you both will receive these rewards. Additionally, on the my.surfshark account page, you can track how many friends you invited and best of all, there's currently no limit as to how many buddies you can invite. So yeah, go share your link after you're done watching this video and enjoy earning Surfshark. If you ever wanted to access Surfshark search faster on your smartphone, well, now you can. With this new Surfshark search widget available on iOS and Android, you can add it to your screen and start searching privately right away. It's faster than having to open the Surfshark app and go to the search tool tab. And yeah, this is going to make your searching way faster. And speaking of widgets, based on your feedback, devs have now adjusted widget sizes on Android. So now they fit your home screens much better. On the Surfshark macOS app, you can also now pause the real-time protection. This can be useful if you need all your Mac's system resources at any given time. By the way, do you own any kind of smart devices in your house? We're talking robot vacuums, pet cameras, and even weight scales. There's so many devices nowadays that have whole operating systems that control how they run. And that's all fine, but now we have a problem where these devices could be collecting data about you and sending them to third parties. Surfshark research team has done the research and made a very useful privacy checker so you can see which devices you own might be collecting data about you. I think what I found the most interesting from this study is that one in 10 smart home apps actually collect data for user tracking, which is kind of concerning, but a lot of these apps do have options to disable them or at least you know some of this data collection. I'll leave the full research via the link in the description below so you can go check it out for yourself and see just how many of your devices, if any, collect data about you. Finally, you might have noticed, especially if you're watching this update video on YouTube, that we are moving to uploading Surfshark content on this old new Surfshark YouTube channel. 
Our other channel called Surfshark Academy will remain for non-Surfshark related videos, but this specific channel that you're watching right now will be the Surfshark channel to watch if you're a Surfshark user. We'll be releasing product updates, new exciting product announcements and interviews and new tutorials and much more. So definitely subscribe to this channel to not miss all this great content. Like this video where Surfshark ran an experiment in New York City of letting folks buy coffee, not for their money, but rather for their data to spread awareness about data privacy. I'll leave that video right here, but that'll be all for me. Take care.